today, CB? Uh, no. Yeah. Hold on, but you just did. You just eye rolled me when I pulled out the camera. But why? Uh, you're talking on. We're working on them. Trust me. Good morning, everyone. The last day of 2018. And look how I started it off tonight. Little plumbing battle wound. I need a helmet. As you know, we do everyday plumbing. Where's my remote? <laughs> He's watching me struggle here, folks. As you know, we do everyday plumbing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. All while training CB2 and Angelo the train. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We truly appreciate it. CB2, you got anything for us today? Um, 10K subs, 2019. 10K, that's the goal. I'm going to do a little special uh, end of year bid. Uh, for today's plumbing adventure, we have a clogged sink. Now, we've cleaned this dream before, and we told the folks, which is a family member, no food in the disposal. Old dray line. But guess what they did? Potatoes. So we're on our way there to clear a line. We'll see when we get to the job. Okay. How'd you like your 11 o'clock start today, Chalk? So what happened? It just started backing up on one. You run a dishwasher or not? No, that was a couple days ago. Alright. I just want to show all the I think I'm gonna be able to buy that clamp underneath again. It always gets clogged up in the same spot. Underneath. And everything else is working, it's all over. Right. It's just now, it's that same line. You can't put no food down here, you know, none. That's what happens. Well you replace a lot of that maybe. Yeah, but there's one connection underneath that where it goes to the cast iron and it always clogs there. Colgate. Colgate, like toothpaste? Yeah. Avenue? Yeah. That's weird. Put that back door along the route back. And, uh, you you didn't put a table down here, did you? No. No, no. All right, good. Nope, nothing. This here, Tony, you took this. You there was a bed there, I remember, yeah. That travels every once in a while. Oh. <coughs> What else did you have here? That's the bathroom thing. So, um, oh, that's just the plunger. You don't know Oh, that's slow? Oh. I know slow, it just don't work. Oh, all right, all right. I wouldn't worry about that. Well, look at one here. Alright, let's go underneath, Charles. We're going to get under the knee. I'm going to let this run. Do you watch this? Right. This is where Chuck's B is going to shine, right here. We have a clamp under here, CB2. Oh, I need my glasses. Uh, I'm gonna go to the needle again. I'm gonna see what's happening. It's already clogged up. <laughs> Tell them to stop running the water. It's already backing up down here, Dave. I'll tell you what, Chucky, I smell sewage, man. Go outside and open up that sewer box out front. Let me know what's happening there. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I really cracked my head in the shop tonight. 
<clears throat> this is the kitchen line. This runs all the way back there. It connects right here to the cast iron, which it always blocks up right here. What's happening out there, Chuck? I told him not to put food in the disposal, but he continued to do it. I probably cleaned this three, I don't know, three to five years ago, maybe. Right now, CB2 is checking the curb box. Oh, piece of packs. I cleaned the sewer last time with this. There's not like any flow, and it looks like there's some whites. Well, there's nothing being flush right now. Here's what I want you to do have Dave flush the toilet right here. And then you go out and watch that box. Right. And then report back. And I'll be able to listen to the sewer here also. Thank you. I smell a little bit of sewage down here. I don't see no water or nothing dripping or... So... And again... This place gets flooded all the time on the bay. Let's hear the toilet flush here, folks. Ah. See how that water pressure builds up on the. Uh... All right, there goes the toilet. Oh. Ah, oh, look at this. I know I smell sewage. They got a broken sewer. All right, that's one problem. Anything come out? Yeah, All right. I smell sewage because we got a uh, cracked sewer here. Oh, really? Yeah. I need the five. All right. The sewer's coming out good as you hear. And I do got a cracked cast iron sewer. It's not blocked up. It's only blocked up on the kitchen drain. <sighs> Let's get the kitchen cleared. about the sewer repair over here. And I know it's gonna be blocked right here. I'm not even gonna put the snake down, which I did bring. I'm gonna just let it take the pressure off right here. Chuck, I see a pair of pliers. It's all kitchen the drain, kitchen two inch drain line. I don't know why that's even halfway on. Alright, that's not there. Chuck, do I got blue tarp in the uh, truck? Waterproof tarp. I think I do behind behind this the this behind the seat maybe. Seat, look at the truck. As you see. Oh, oh Lord, that's a piece. Oh yeah, she's clogged solid, dude. All right, here's what they have for dinner. You ready? Rice and corn. What a shot. Folks, this is why, with my little pipe, garbage disposals can clog up 
your lines because here's the situation here. They don't they don't grind it up enough. They just push it through in your drain line and what happens is you get this. You get a drain line. Chuck, yeah. start filling up that kitchen sink. Okay. I want to full all the way and let it go. Just the easy, easy clear. I mean, this place is, this is a hundred year old building. And what's going to happen one day is we're going to end up changing all these drain lines. This is a family job. Old Popper's house. <sighs> so we're gonna get CB2 to run some water. But the big job will be. <sighs> I gotta change a section of the sewer. Let's take a look at what we need. Now, here's what complicates matters. Right away, I was thinking about taking out that four inch four by two Y that the kitchen lines drain to. But you see how close you are to the toilet bend here. This is a duplex, so this goes up to the second floor, has a stacked bathrooms. And you see it right there. I got a nice lead bend that handles this bathroom. So we are not addressing taking out all this cast because. Major job, major money, and uh, I can tell you, they ain't gonna go for it until they have to go for it. And what I am gonna do, I'm gonna cut out this section of four inch and replace it. So that's the next step. It's New Year's Eve day, and I gotta set this up for Wednesday. Wednesday and I'm out of here at 12 o'clock today. 12, 1 o'clock, so I can't even do this today. A little bit of scrap copper there. Huh? So, nice little, little cut cut with the grinder. Back to the original call. Tighten that. And we're done. See, Prentice is out there. This is all nice and hollow. That's why I knew that the uh, the clog was right here at the no hub plant. I've been here before. Here it comes. There it goes. We're all clear. To prove that we are clear, there goes our drip in the cast. So the kitchen line is clear. The next project is to take care of this cast. I know, what'd you have? It's called C dip. It's in his lower GI. Most people get it from the hospital. It's like a infection. Well, I'm you still going to stop it? Yeah. I'm worried about mine. Uh, online or you go out to the I still try to park line for stock. Oh, uh, yeah, it's campus. I have and, some online. And in December. Oh, I see, big. Our next job. Only because it's new. We're gonna do that job next year. 
<laughs> Are you awake now? We started at 11 o'clock today. Can you tell? <laughs> CB's awake. <laughs> All right, and ending on this half a day. <laughs> this 49 minute day. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself in 2018? Glad I made it through. Me too. Me too. You got any questions for CB2? You know he likes them. Hit them up in the box below. Well, there you have it. We went there for a kitchen drain. Got that cleared. I smell sewage in the crawl space. For sure we had something. Found it by accident. Didn't have time to uh, fix it today. Ain't gonna kill him. And a little sink job too for uh, Wednesday. We got the kitchen sink cleared and they're good to go. With that, we'll see them Wednesday for the continuation of some more work there. And that was our last job for 2018. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you at the next one.